Recently I made my first reaction to Australian comedian Sean McAuliffe. It was his drunk, tilted room sketch and it was pretty genius. I've never seen anything like that before. Tell me if you've seen that one before, what you think about it. But people told me he's one of Australia's most famous comedians. He was on TV for a long time and gave me a lot of recommendations for his work. So watching another one of his sketches today, this is from the Sean McAuliffe program again and this is called racism so another interesting topic uh, to see comedy about tell me what you think think about Sean McAuliffe the Sean McAuliffe program do you have any memorable sketches from there I love that drunk room sketch uh, looking forward to seeing this one too let's check it out tell me what you think about this one anyone who raises the topic of immigration levels is racist it's not exactly what one of my next guests said but it's virtually what she's saying in my opinion <laughs> <laughs> Has so political that, correctness gone list? too far? How racist are we and how do we define racism anyway? Joining me tonight for this controversial tete-a-tete -tete is Jan Delaney from the Equal Opportunities Commission <laughs> and uh, Mr Damien Gabriel from the No Immigration Party. Damien, if I could start with you. <laughs> the no should immigration should stop party. immigration to this country immediately? Well, Sean, let me say at the outset that I'm not a racist. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you made a noise then, but uh, I think it's actually very, very helpful because a lot of people accuse Damien of being a racist, and I think it's actually good to know that he isn't one. Um, okay, so you're not He's a racist. His work. No. Okay. But I do think that we must stop the flood of Asians into Australia. Well. Uh, sorry, you made that noise again, and Look. you were warned. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is that if we're not careful, in 20 years' time, we're just going to look like another Asian country. Oh, frightening thought, isn't it? Well, I think that's the point that Damien's trying to make, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I was being sarcastic. I know, as was I. <laughs> Please, go In on. effect, you're advocating that we keep our bloodlines pure, keep it all Anglo-Saxon. Well, to be fair, I don't actually think Damien's saying that. Uh, well, actually, Sean, I am. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> all right, all right, Sean. How would you feel if your daughter came home one night with with an Asian boyfriend? Oh yeah, that's fine. I mean, I like their food, and uh, they're not the best drivers in the world. But <laughs> I think they'd be the first to admit that they're very generous people. So no, I'd have no problems at all. Wouldn't bat an eyelid. Ah well, ah, you're, uh, you're oh. making an eye joke there. <laughs> sort of, I won't do it because it's racist. <laughs> trying to catch me into a trap there and what? I'm not well you know I mean uh, I'd be fine I'd be fine with it providing he didn't sell drugs or, or was a member of a gang oh because they all are aren't they well I think that might be overstating it a bit not all like that but many of them are that is appalling <laughs> it is disgraceful I agree <laughs> now if we could uh, just doesn't understand just sarcasm now to the l question of humor and racism racism in humor um, Jan raised it earlier with her eye joke. Uh, <laughs> should we laugh at racist jokes? No, we should not. What about if they're funny? <laughs> it's actually a very meta question to ask when this whole segment or sketch is about race. It's very clever. This is actually, of course, it's very different to that first sketch, the drunk, tilted room sketch. But this is excellent, like, social commentary, political satire. It's racist. It isn't funny. Oh, what an incredibly arrogant thing to say. Yes, I mean, uh, look, take my hat and my coat. It's hilarious and it's a, it's a reflex thing to laugh, really. You can't help what, yourself. What's my what hat is a racist coat? joke anyway? Why is it racist? Just because it mentions someone's nationality. Yes. You can't tell a joke that relies for its humour on someone's nationality without it being racist. Well, I think you can. No, you can't. Ex excuse no, me, no, excuse me, I think I know a bit more than both of you about humour. I could just uh, <laughs> make a suggestion here. They always it's, end up using sorry. racist stereotypes like, um, you know, Oh, hello, buddy, buddy, how are you today, please, sir? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> racist. Well, oh my God. It, look, they laughed, it's funny. I mean, it can be both. <laughs> Why is it racist? Because it portrays Indian people as wobble-headed idiots. No, 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 it's, it's a joke. It's not supposed to be taken seriously. Well, to be fair to Jan, I don't think she's actually saying it is taken seriously. Yes, I am. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is a true story. This actually happened to me. I was in Japan uh, a couple of months back, uh, meeting with some Tokyo television people. It's an industry thing. I don't want to go into too many details. Uh, <laughs> hush, hush. But uh, uh, a fellow from Tokyo television came up to me, found out that I was Australian. He came up and he said, Oh, you're from Australia. Hi, oh, oh, you can go bouncing down. Hi, oh, oh, bouncing down. Oh bye, God. bye, bye. And clearly that's not offensive. I think you'll find it is. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I think the only real conclusion to be drawn oh from all this is that jokes about foreigners aren't racist. It's just that they have no sense of humour about themselves. <laughs> Please thank Damien and Jan. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. <laughs> Excellent. That's actually so clever. Like, again, I didn't know what to expect from this one because seeing the Tail Tree Room sketch, it was more about that visual, physical comedy. This was very, like, cutting social commentary, man. And it, again, it was very meta how they're ma talking about the about humour and racism, or hu sorry, humour and race, when this whole segment or this sketch is about that. It's actually very clever, very well acted by the the two the two guests, as well as Sean, like, like that's very like, a great performance. It really makes me want to see more from him as well. Uh, I love this type of comedy, especially one that touches on interesting subjects, but does it in a very intelligent, clever way, makes you think as well. We're laughing at those jokes that could be deemed to be racist, but they're doing it in that meta way. So it's very complex. I love it. I need to check out more from that show. Tell me what you think about this one, the things they're talking about, and recommend more from the Sean McLeaf program. Thanks.